Uh, lesson goal for this video, uh, derivatives of exponential functions. Uh, we're just going to introduce exponential functions and their derivatives. So you've got an idea of how all of this stuff works. In future videos, you'll look at how to calculate the derivative of an exponential function. For today, though, we just want to have a good idea of, of what an exponential function is, first of all, and then um, uh, we're going to find something cool out about the derivatives, I guess. Uh, first of all, you should remember exponentials from last year oops they look something like this uh, you might remember them from compound interest uh, compound interest you might remember them from um, growth curves uh, things like um, rabbits breeding or like bacteria growing in a petri dish something like that uh, so you start off with a small amount and it grows by a little bit, and it grows by some more, and it grows by some more, and then all of a sudden it's doubling. Uh, so the basic form of an exponential function, you should remember, is y equals um, a times b to the power of x, where uh, a is the initial value and b is the growth factor. So y equals a times b to the x. Uh, this is an exponential curve. This is what it tends to look like. Uh, we re That's all, all revision, so it's something that you should be aware of. Uh, we really want to get an idea of what happens when we find the derivative of these things. Uh, let's go back here. All right, so I've picked a really simple uh, exponential function to begin with. y equals 1.3 to the power of x. So you can see here's my exponential function curving up into the into the sky here. Now I've set it up with this gradient. You should be familiar with seeing this sort of stuff before. And you can see that our gradient at this particular point is m equals 0 0.75. Now as I continue up, the gradient increases. You can see, our, and you'd expect that, our curve's getting steeper and steeper and steeper, our gradient's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. Now this little, this little curve here that you're starting to see appear, that's our derivative of this function. That is, it's the rate of change or the gradient at each individual point. So the x value is just the x value as we move along, and the y value of this line is the gradient of this line. Okay, so what you should see happening, or uh, the first, I guess the first lesson that we're looking at here, is that the derivative of an exponential function, I'm looking at an exponential function right now, is an exponential function. You can see this b value going and starting to curve up into the sky. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Um, I might just increase my curve a little bit. Okay, so this time I've got 1.46 to the power of x. So if I move this, again, we see an exponential function. So you should be getting the idea that the derivative of an exponential function is an exponential function. I'm going to increase this by a bit more now. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Oops, uh, increases a bit more. Uh, move it up to two. Uh, why won't you let me do that? Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, um, now I've increased it up to two. Just need to drag this down a little bit so we can actually still see the curve. Maybe bring it out a little bit here. Okay, watch what happens here. All right, so the derivative of this exponential function is still an exponential function. So the derivative of y equals 2 to the x is something, is, a, is an exponential function as well. Now there is a spot, oh, let's, let's move even further up. Let's move up to like, I don't know, 3. f of x equals 3x. Now again, I'm going to have to bring that down so I can see where my point has vanished to. There it is. Look what happens now when I do this. Uh, 
Okay, so what we should be seeing, the difference that's happened, is that the derivative of this exponential function is still an exponential function. But our exponential function has gone over our original exponential function, if that makes sense. It's a little bit it's a little bit steeper than our original exponential function. Whereas when we were down at the twos, when we were down here at um, y equals two to the x, you can see it was below the function. All of this is moving towards a particular, all of this discussion is moving towards one particular idea. There is a sweet number, like a, a magic number that we can get to. I'll try to get close here about that. There is a great number that we can get to that when we start moving this point along, we can see that the derivative of this function is equal to, the derivative of this function is equal to the function itself. Now it's not 2.7 to the power of x, that's, a, that's too easy. It's actually this y equals 2.718281828459040 dot 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 uh, we similar to pi 3.14159 uh, we have this letter this letter e so the big takeaway from this lesson the important thing the thing that you actually need to learn at the end of this lesson is if y equals e to the power of x if y equals e to the power of x that's 2.718 blah 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 then y dash equals e to the power of x okay so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x that's the big takeaway from this entire lesson